Hello everyone and welcome back to another What If Theories. Today we are now talking about the top man of mystery, the legendary hitman himself, Hit. Finally, Hit making his debut to center stage of the tournament and we have never seen Champa so relaxed about the outcome. However, Champa does freak out on Vados, realizing that Hit will win and have to surrender the cube, which is a chariot of the gods, to Hit. Champa, in my opinion, is a little worried and does express some concern of a legendary assassin being able to go anywhere and even different universes, which makes you realize that Hit is really powerful and probably rivals Champa in power. I think Champa remains calm because if he wins the tournament, he gets the Dragon Balls, and you can literally make any wish cause of their power. First, let's get out of the way some of the theories flying around out there of who Hit can be. Is he a different version of a villain we've seen before or something new? While I like some of these theories, don't think any of them will actually happen, but worth a quick mention. First Hit has many characteristics very similar to that of the Race of Frost. Obviously they share a close likeness, and for those who remember Cooler, Frieza's brother. Don't think this is the case from Frost's reaction to Hit, not to mention is missing a tail, in his transformation at least. Now some off-canon mention, which gets the Dragon Ball fans blood boiling. People make a mention of Hit being Mira from the Dragon Ball Xenoverse. He actually shares far more characteristics physically of Mira, and your mind can really cut loose with a million cross theories with Mira time traveling, absorbing powers. While this would be pretty fun, don't think Akira Toriyama is going down such a road in this new series as he has plenty of material he said in a recent interview. So while these theories are fun, just don't believe any will actually happen. Now let's talk about Hit's legendary powers. Everyone saw him destroy Frost with no effort and without actually touching him. Frost cried out, what did you do to me as he was rendered unconscious from the attack. All you see is purple flashes and what many have been talking about, some form of power draining ability, which I think makes sense. Spoiler alert, if you haven't actually seen the preview from episode 38, where Goku is talking about Hit and is literally effortlessly wiping the floor with Vegeta, go watch that now. It was very revealing as Goku and the other fighters aren't able to see or track what kind of attacks Hit is actually doing to Vegeta, which isn't good at all. Vegeta, my favorite character in Dragon Ball, please use your say in pride, but it looks like the outcome is clear cut. Hit will beat Vegeta, but knowing Vegeta, he is going to try and reveal what nature of Hit's abilities and powers are, so that way Goku has at least a fighting chance against Hit. Just another reason to love Vegeta, by the way. Goku will then step in and perhaps put up a better fight. I think it is just isn't enough to beat Hit. Hit will then take it to yet another level and even possibly transform, defeating Goku. Of course, this is where it gets interesting as we don't even know yet what Manaka brings for sure to the table. Does Manaka have special powers or abilities to counter Hit, which is why Beerus picked him? Or does Hit win the tournament and become the main focus for the next arc? One thing is for sure. Hit is at this tournament for Hit and to gain the cube, so that's why he can go anywhere in the universe or even to other universes. I also like to talk about the fact that Hit is a Hitman for hire, but every Hitman I can think of actually works for someone. So who the hell is that? Hit has to have a master and was sent here to get the cube and maybe even steal the Dragon Balls. Being that Hit now has the cube, Universe 6 along with Kaba will be tracking down Hit wherever he goes and try and figure out what he plans to do with the cube and Dragon Balls. I really think this arc could go on for a very long time and hope it keeps us all guessing and we have much more Dragon Ball Super to talk about in the future. Let me know what you guys think about Hit, who he is and what he plans to do with the cube. Do you think he has a master? And where this arc goes from here? I just want to thank everyone for watching, and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.